Welcome back to the Solutions Manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 5-36 from R.C. Hibbeler Engineering Statics 14 edition. According to this problem, the beam of negligible weight is supported horizontally by two springs. If the beam is horizontal and the springs are unstretched, when the load is removed, we have to determine the angle of tilt of the beam when the load is applied. So to solve this problem, first of all, we have to draw the free body diagram. So the beam is supported by these spring forces. Let's label them first. So let's call this spring force as Fa and this one as Fb. We also have to find the resultant of this triangular distributed loading. So for the resultant of triangular distributed loading, We have to find the area of this distributed loading. Let's call this FR. So it is 1 upon 2, the base which is 3 meters into the height which is 600. So the magnitude of the resultant force is 900 newtons. Now for the location of this resultant force. So in the case of the triangle, it is one third of base from thicker end. And this is the thicker end of the triangle. So the location is one over three of base, which is three. So 1 meters from the thicker end. So this is the location of the resultant of this distributed load. This distance is 1 meters. And the magnitude of the resultant force is 900 newtons. So this is our free body diagram. Now we can apply our equations of equilibrium. So my first equation is summation of moments at point C equals to 0. I am considering counterclockwise direction as positive. Since the line of action of force Fa is passing through the point C, so this Fa force does not have any moment arm with respect to the point C. So Fa force will not produce any moment about the point C. This 900 Newton force is trying to rotate the beam in clockwise direction about the point C. So the moment produced by this 900 Newton force will be taken as negative. So we have negative 900. And the moment arm is this distance, which is 2 meters. The force FB is trying to rotate the beam in counterclockwise direction about the point C. So the moment produced by this FB force will be taken as positive. So we have positive FB. And the moment arm is 3 plus 3, 6 meters equals to 0. So upon simplification, force FB comes out to be 300 newtons. Now for the force FA. We can do summation of forces in y direction equals to 0. I am considering up direction as positive. So we have Fa minus 900 plus Fb equals to 0. So Fa minus 900 plus Fb and Fb is 300 newtons equals to 0. So force Fa comes out to be 600 Newtons. So these are the forces in the springs A and B. Our objective is to find the angle of tilt. 
so for angle of tilt we have to find the change in length of these two springs a and b under the applied load so for the change in length in the spring a we can use the hooke's law so it's fa over stiffness constant so fa is 600 over stiffness ka which is 1 kilo newtons per meter so the change in length in the spring a comes out to be 0 0.6 meters and similarly for xb for the change in length in the spring b we have fb over stiffness constant kb so fb is 300 newtons and the stiffness constant kb is 1.5 kilo newtons per meter so we have to convert it into the newtons first so the change in length in the spring b is 0 0.2 meters So which spring has stretched more? Definitely this spring A. So for the angle of tilt, so if this was the original position of the beam when the applied load was not present, so after the load is placed, the beam will deflect downwards by XA amount about the point A and it will deflect downward by the amount XB about the point B. So now this is the new position of the beam. This is the angle of tilt. Let's call this alpha. So alpha is the angle of tilt. So for the angle of tilt, let's consider few more points. Let's call this new position of point A as A dash and the new position of point B is B dash and let's call this point as O. The length of the beam is 6 meters. So for the angle alpha, we can consider the triangle A dash, B dash and O. So for the angle alpha, we can use the ratio of 10. So 10 alpha is equals to opposite, which is in this case is this much length. So XA minus XB over the adjacent, which is 6 meters. So alpha is equals to 10 inverse of xa minus xb, xa is 0 0.6 and xb is 0 0.2. So xa minus xb is 0 0.4 meters over 6. So if we take the 10 inverse of this value, so the angle of tilt comes out to be 3.814 degrees. So this is our final answer. So this is it for this problem. I hope you would find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any questions or any doubts in the free body diagram or in the equations of equilibrium or in the calculation of angle of tilt, then feel free to ask in the comment section and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you.